David with Ligori Drag Racing. In this video, I'm gonna go over gear-based compensation for ignition tables and fuel tables. In map options, if these are not check marked, then they will not display in the quick access panel on the left-hand side. Make sure they're check marked. And we will do gear-based compensation first for ignition tables. Gear-based compensation, you can add or remove timing per gear. So this motorcycle has six gears and we can do it by gear and RPM. So we can see that we start pulling timing right above 5,500 because this is linear right here. And we are pulling five degrees from 6,000 all the way to 9,500 and then starting to put it back in. In the data log, gear timing compensation, and I have gear up on the logger also, and we can see off the starting line, we are pulling five degrees through first gear. And as soon as we hit 9,500 RPMs, starts putting it back in. And we are at zero at 10.5, right here, 10.5 RPMs. So this is a good way to pull timing per gear on any vehicle. And you can also do um, fuel. So fuel, you can do gear-based compensation for fuel. You can add a certain percentage of fuel based on the same parameters, gear and RPM. If you need to add 10% of fuel in first gear, you can do that. You need to add 10% of fuel in sixth gear, you can do that. If you're using a gear position sensor, I recommend it being a zero to five volt. And if you're using gear shift output, it will just count the gears. So I get a lot of questions on gear based compensations and that is gear based fuel and timing. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments, like, subscribe, Thank you.